confusion matrix. Now let me solve confusion matrix for the predicted and actual values. We have done with the principal component analysis. In this session, I'm going to talk about the confusion matrix. What is actually confusion matrix? Why we need confusion matrix? It actually carries predicted and actual values. We are trying to find the predicted and actual values. It is pretty much clear from its name confusion matrix, which means to create confusion that how much accuracy the model has. What is the precision value of the model? So these all predicted and actual values can be achieved with the help of the confusion matrix. This is my confusion matrix. We have no yes, no yes. For example, if I plug in the values, 65 plus 5 will be 70, 10 plus 90 will be 100. Similarly, 65 plus 10 will be 75, 5 plus 90 will be 95. The summation will be 170. These are my predicted and actual values. It is a simple confusion matrix where I have no and yes, no and yes. So here in vertical, we have the predicted values. These are the predicted values in vertical. In parallel, in parallel, these are the actual values, actual values. So true negative, true positive, false negative, false positive. Look, when you look from the actual side in parallel, these are the, these are the no values, no values. 65 plus 5 are no values. So there are total 70 no values. Similarly, in this line, these are the yes values for the actual. These are the yes actual values. 10 plus 90 equals 200. We have total 100 actual yes values. But when you look vertically from predicted side, we have total 75 no values. 65 plus 10 is 75. And we have total 95 yes values. 5 plus 90 is 95. In vertical, we have the predicted values. In parallel, we have the actual values. So their total will be 170 because 100 plus 70 is 170. Similarly, 75 plus 95 will be 170. So whether you add these values or these values, ultimately it equals to 170. 70 plus 100 is 170. 75 plus 95 equals to 170. So total yes and no values are 170. This is the confusion matrix. That's how confusion matrix look in mathematics. This is the mathematical form of the confusion matrix because there is a mathematics behind the scene. Now why we need confusion matrix? We want to find the accuracy, accuracy of the model. So accuracy equals to true positive plus true negative all over total. Plug in the values 90 plus 65 all over 170 it equals to 0 0.91. For the accuracy, we have true positive, true positive, true positive equals to 90. And then plus true negative, true negative is this, true negative is 65. So 90 plus 65 all over total. So what are the total predicted and actual values? We have total 170 values, 170 yes and no values. For the total put 170, 90 plus 65 all over 170 equals to 0 0.91. 0 0.91 means 91%. So the accuracy of this model will be 91%. What will the error rate? Well, this is the formula for the error rate. False positive plus false negative all over total. Plug in the values, you will get 0 0.09. So we have total 9% error rate. Look, what is error rate? Error rate is a small error a small margin of the error which creates in the machine learning model. So how to calculate that error rate? There's a formula from the confusion matrix. We have false positive, false positive is 5, and false negative is 10. So 5 plus 10 all over total. What is total? Total is 170. So 5 plus 10 all over 170 equals to 0 0.09. Look, 0 0.09 equals to 9%. It is 9%. Because when you divide 0 0.09 by 100, it equals to 9. So we have total 9% error rate. There is a small error. There is a small error in the machine model, which is total 9%. We have total 9% error rate in the machine learning model based on this confusion matrix. Then to calculate the precision, Precision of the model equals to total positive all over predicted yes. So it equals to 90 over 95. 
we have total 95% precision. The formula for the precision equals to true positive. True positive is 90. And what are the predicted years? Predicted years are 95. So we have total 95 predicted years. Look, you have to look vertically for the predicted. For the actual, you have to look parallel. So when you look vertically for the years, total years are 95. 90 over 95 equals to 0 0.95, which means 95%. So the precision, the precision of this model is 95%. Now to calculate the recall, the formula for the recall is true positive all our actual values. Plug in the values, 90 over 100, it equals to 0 0.9. Look, the formula for the recall is true positive all our actual values. True positive is 90. Plug in 90 here and total actual years. Total actual years are 100. Look, we are looking from the actual side. From the actual side, we have to look parallel, not vertical, parallel. In parallel, the total years are 100 because 10 plus 90 equals to 100. So we are going to have 90 over 100. It equals to 0 0.9. 0 0.9 is 90 percent the recall of this model will be 90 percent based on this confusion matrix so these are very important terms of the machine learning model during the final evaluation when you create the model and then train the model at the end you need to check that what is the accuracy rate what is the error rate what is the precision of the model what is the recall of the model these are very very important parameters you need to check it at the end so all these parameters can be calculated with the help of the confusion matrix. That's why confusion matrix is very important to analyze and check the final machine learning model.